Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a quick practical on OpenShift. I'm going to show you how we can directly build the image from source and then how we can deploy that application in top of OpenShift. So let's see more into it. So I have a GitHub repository ready where I have a Python application. Basically it is a Python Flask application. If I show you my app.py file, so it is a hello world Python Flask application. And now here I'm going to provide this source code to OpenShift and I will ask OpenShift, OpenShift, can you please go to the source code, understand the programming language I have used and accordingly, can you please build the image for me? I'm not providing here any Docker files. I'm not providing my own image here. I am only providing my source code to OpenShift. OpenShift will understand the source code and accordingly it will create a image for me. And once the image is created, then OpenShift is going to deploy my application using that image. So here we will see how OpenShift is going to create image directly from the source and how it will be deploying my server from that. So if I go back to my playground here, currently my OpenShift cluster is up and running. I can confirm this with a command OC status. And I can see my cluster is currently up and running. Let's create a new project here and let's do this practical inside that pod. So in OpenShift, I can create multiple projects. So let me create a new project here, OC new project. And let me give it a project name, for example, test project. So I think test project is already created here. Let me get some other project one, two, three. So currently I am in test project one, two, three, and I can deploy my server here. Let me clear my screen. And if I do OC get, Pods, you will see there is no pod currently running here. What are pods basically in OpenShift? So, pod is the smallest and simplest unit in Kubernetes object model. It represents a single instance of a running process in a cluster. Means when I will deploy my application here, you will see a pod would have been created and my application would be running inside that pod. We will again see this command in a moment. So, I just have to run one single command here that is OC. I wanted to create a new app and then here is my source code present. Can you please go to this particular URL? Can you please read that code? Basically here OpenShift would be creating a build config that will build the image form. Then can you please deploy my application? So that's it. I just have to click enter and you will see the rest part OpenShift will do. And in my source code, I haven't specified anywhere that I'm using Python as a programming language. But just by looking into this code, open should find out that I am using some Python programming language and, and accordingly they have created the image for me. So they are, they are creating some image for me. Okay. And once the image has been created, they, they have also created a deployment form. Okay. So if I write a command here, OC get BC, that is, that is build config. So you will see a build config is being created here that have built the image form. And if I do OC get pods, you will see here one pod. Uh, was running for this build config, which have built the image for me. And here one pod is running where my application is currently. So that's it. We just have run one command, open to fit the image. And according to that image, it has also deployed my application. How I can use this application? Let's see uh, very quickly. Let me clear my screen. For that, I need a route to that uh, particular application. Let me write here a command, OC get route to list out all the routes available. So I can see I don't have any route available. It means I have to create my own route. How we can do? So for that, let's first of all check what are the services created here. So as I will do OC get SVC, so it will tell us that they have already created a service for me. And now I will ask OpenShift. OpenShift, can you please do one thing for me? Can you please expose this service? The service name is test repo one. And here OpenShift is going to expose this service uh, form. And now it would have created a route form. If I again run OC get route command, you will see a route is being created. And this is the exact URL where I can see my application. Let me copy this URL and let me open this in a new tab. And here you would be able to see your application. I can get my result. This was the exact message which I printed in my application. So with OpenShift, we have built the image. As well as with OpenShift, we have also deployed our application. And behind the scene, OpenShift has also created, created a deployment for me. So if I do OC get deployment, 
you will see open shift have also created and deployment and now if we have the deployment then we can also scale our application according to our use case so let's scale our application for example right now i just have one pod running where my application is present let me do one thing let me scale my application for that i have a command oc scale and then i can write deployment and then i can give the deployment name in my case it is test repo one and then i can ask here that i want 10 replicas so you will see in a moment my deployment will get scaled and automatically OpenShift will create now nine more pods and in those pods my application would be up and running so when i as a user if i keep on coming to my application i will keep on getting my results i will not face any kind of downtime so we can also scale our application according to the use case even we can do auto scaling also so OpenShift will take care of uh, scaling the application according to the load let me clear my screen and similarly the way i have scaled my application i can also scale down my application for example i have 10 replicas running let me now have only one replica. let's say my users are not using my application so i wanted to uh, decrease the replica so in this case if i do again oc get pods so you will see only one pod could be done even if i try to delete this pod manually or let's say this pod got crashed due to some reason so let me this time do it manually so because here we are using OpenShift and in OpenShift we have a deployment created so automatically it will create a replica we don't have to worry so let's say this pod got deleted due to some reason but here I am deleting it manually so you will see automatically OpenShift deployment have created a new pod it was just launched post in and for my user they will not face any downtime if they are still in the application so they can get that so this is how we can deploy our application on top of OpenShift cluster. So that's all for today's video. I hope you would have learned something new. We will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.